Hey, what's up? Arky here again. So, today I want to talk about the spec I've been using since the patch came out. I'm playing Elemental right now and I'm really trying to experiment to see if the spec is going to be viable long term, if it's worth investing the effort for level 90. And uh, I've been using the spec, it seems promising, but uh, there's no guarantee. I'll have to experiment at level 90. But yeah, there are a couple of really specific tricks that I've been using and uh, I'm going to share them in this video. They're almost exploits, but uh, I mean more or less just clever use of game mechanics, but they're pretty awesome, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, all I gotta say is that, well, Ellie is not the bursty class it used to be. Like before you could really like chase someone to death across the entire map, but now it's like more or less um, a support class. I feel like I'm very weak when I'm on my own and uh, I can't really get all the killing blows in Battlegrounds. I'm really just like a, a very solid support class. I mean up to some extent someone could like build a spec that's really good for like damage output but I think the real potential for Shaman is really the utility, the off healing and all that stuff so I really want to try to capitalize on that and um, use that strength to its fullest potential. So I'm going to show you a couple of clips here. I've been playing around with this new spec. Um, the idea is to roll flame shocks on multiple targets, capitalize on lava surge procs just to do as much damage as possible, and uh, I'm pretty much waiting for RNG to happen. And in between RNG, I'm just assisting my teammates with purge and off heals mostly. Uh, you'll notice that purge with the glyph of purge is extremely strong. Uh, right now you can see in this example, I fully strip a target in just three globals. Now that target would have been nowhere near a viable kill target back in 4.3, but just with three globals I remove everything including earth shield, uh, the hots, so yeah. Purge is very strong, it turns any targets into a viable kill target in seconds. So yeah, Ellie definitely isn't, well, I don't think it's going to be the very best on its own and I think we'll have to wait and see in a real arena scenario to really see the fullest potential of the spec. Uh, one important thing you'll notice is that I'm not using Glyph of Unleashed Lightning and uh, I know what you're going to say, you're going to say I'm crazy but you know what, right now uh, Lightning Bolt barely does any damage at all so you know what, whatever, I'm not using it. It might be better at level 90 but um, for now I'm not using it. Uh, just. Glyph of Flame Shock is way better. Uh, but you gotta keep in mind though, since the patch came out, Elemental Shaman's DPS actually dropped. I mean, all the high end PV shamans are actually complaining on the forums that, unlike most classes, instead of gaining DPS from the new spec system, they actually lost DPS. And that's kind of weird. I think, uh, to my knowledge, this is the only exception to this rule. Uh, shamans are the only one that actually lost DPS. This pretty much means that LED DPS scales in a very weird way. But yeah, I'm just curious to see how it's going to play out at level 90. Apparently we do a lot more damage at level 90, so uh, looking forward to that. So the first trick that I've been using, well, with the Talent Totemic Restoration, you can do some pretty cool stuff. You gotta know though, right now it seems to be broken, it only works like half of the time, maybe a little bit more than half of the time, but I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Uh, but I've been using this macro, and uh, basically this macro recalls a specific totem and it's off the global cooldown. So every time I drop Tremor, Earthbind or whatever, I recall it instantly. So if you pay attention, all my cooldowns on my roots and everything are all cut down by half. And for Tremor, that pretty much means that I never sit a full fear. They're always DR because I can always Tremor the first full fear. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, the next thing is, uh, well, Lava Surge is pretty powerful and one thing you gotta know is if you're hard casting Lava Burst and you get a Lava Surge as you're casting Lava Burst, well the Lava Burst won't consume the Lava Surge proc so you can actually launch two full damage Lava Burst in the same global so that's extremely powerful. The damage display seems to be bug right now so you can't actually see both numbers so it really seems as if you're only doing one lava burst but if you look at the combat log uh, you're actually doing two so it's very powerful. Uh, the other thing I want to say is you can benefit from unleash fire with two different spells and that actually works with uh, elemental blast as well so it's extremely powerful uh, but you can also do it right now and this trick is especially useful uh, when you have low haste values. So it's going to be really useful next expansion early on. What you want to do is you wait until you get a lava surge proc and uh, once you get one, well you unleash fire and that's going to give you 30% extra damage on your next spell cast. But if you launch two spells in the exact same global, then both spells are going to benefit the 30% bonus. So basically you unleash fire, 
you start hard casting whatever spell, elemental blast or whatever, and as you're casting, you're spamming your lava surge proc. You're trying to consume it. So both spells will be launched in the exact same global, and they will both benefit from the 30% damage. So that's probably the highest damage you can do in a single global right now. And then you can chain it with Fulmination or whatever, and it's pretty good. But yeah, this trick mostly works with Elemental Blast at 90, because if you're doing it right now with Lava Burst, well, you can only really do it if you proc Lava Surge as you're already hard casting Lava Burst. So it's not working out too well right now, but I've tried it at 90, and it works very well. The other thing is, I've been using Astral Guidance as a talent. The only reason why I've been using this talent is because it can be dispelled, unlike uh, healing Titanum, which can be easily destroyed. But yeah, it's pretty good. I don't really use it to heal from damage. I mostly just use it to increase my healing output by 40%. It's actually more than 40% because it also heals nearby targets. So uh, if used properly, it's very powerful. Plus the two minute cooldown makes it really awesome. Uh, what you want to do is, as you're casting a uh, healing surge, well, you can spam Astral Guidance, and even though it only happens at the very end of the cast, the cast is still going to benefit from the extra 40% healing. So th this is, isn't a really a big deal, but it means you can uh, start healing without actually um, using Astral Guidance before you start healing. So uh, it lets you make the decision whether you need to pop it or not as you're casting. So it gives you a little bit of more room to think pretty awesome and uh, one more thing back in 4.3 I was trying to protect my nature school more than everything else um, if I was locked out of nature school I was pretty much dead but right now it's very different you have like your nature school your physical school and your fire school your fire school is your main damage source but it doesn't matter if you get locked out sands or whatever because every time you proc lava surge your fire school gets reset no matter what it resets the global cooldown it resets the the lockout duration it resets everything so it really doesn't matter if you get locked on fire school with this spec and um i mean totems are really important so if you get locked out of nature well you can still drop totems which are important so it's pretty cool so yeah, uh, as you can see, I'm not really trying to play aggressive, not really trying to pump out damage. I'm just really trying to assist teammates, trying to purge, trying to heal as much as possible, and uh, I'm just waiting for RNG. Sometimes I kind of go oom a little bit, and this might be annoying, but with the four set bonus at level 90, I believe that with a 50% cooldown reduction on Thunderstorm, it's going to offset all the mana cost, and uh, I think this build has a lot of potential. But I think that for now at 85, it's probably the, the best spec I've found, and uh, I'll be playing around with it at level 90. Thanks for watching. Peace out.